This is Neko July 2022 20, General Mathematics Paper 2 and we are answering question number 12 and the question says the table shows the marks obtained by 100 students in an entrance examination. This is the table. You have marks 20 to 29 scored by 14 students up to the end 90 to 99 marks scored by 4 students. This is the table given. So we have four questions that I have to answer. Question number A says prepare a cumulative frequency table for this distribution. And question number B, you are asked now from your table, from this table, you are to draw an or give that is cumulative frequency curve and use that very curve to estimate the median and the lower quartile. Then question number C says if 32 students were offered admission, you are asked to find the cut-up mark and the last question number D says how many students will now be offered admission if the pass mark in this question number C above is now increased by 10. So let's attempt to answer this very question together. So starting with this cumulative frequency, that is question number A. So for the first, for the very first item mark 10 to 19, that has frequency 12, the cumulative frequency is also going to be 12, so you now write it. The next cumulative frequency, what you now do, this cumulative frequency 12, added with the current frequency, which is 14, it will give you the next cumulative frequency. So 12 plus 14 will give answer 26. Next cumulative frequency, what you now do, this cumulative frequency 26, add it with the current frequency, which is 18. So 26 plus 18, it will give you the next cumulative frequency, which will now be 44. So the rest will now be the same. 44 plus 20, you have 64. 64 plus 12, you now have 76. 76 plus 8, you now have 84. And the rest up to the last one, 96 plus 4 is what gives you 100. Always your last cumulative frequency will now be the same thing as the total number of data. In this case, remember, we are told that it is 100 students. So you now have 100 in the end as your last cumulative frequency. So question number A has been answered. Let me just move to question number B. Question number B, you asked now to draw a cumulative frequency curve that is or give from this table. So to do that, you need to have, uh, you need to have the boundaries. The boundaries will now be nothing but this very class interval, but adjusted backward and forward. So the lower limit adjusted backward and the higher limit adjusted forward by 0.5 each. So that will now give 9.5. If 10 is adjusted backward by 0.5, you have 9.5. And 19, 19, if adjusted forward by 0.5, you have 19.5. So next also the same 20 adjusted backward by 0.5. So you now have 19.5. And 29 adjusted forward by 0.5, so you're going to have 29.5. This is what we should be doing. So if you did correctly, you now have the rest, 29.5 to 39.5, after the last one, 89.5 to 99.5. So let's just bring our graph paper. This is the graph paper. So starting with the horizontal axis, the horizontal axis will now contain the marks and what we are now going to take uh, is the higher boundary of this, uh, the higher boundary here, 19.5, 29.5, 39.5, is what we now try to mark here. So next is to draw the vertical axis, which will now be the cumulative frequency. So let me draw it here, the vertical axis. The vertical axis, I'm having 10 to 100. 10 to 100, because the very first cumulative frequency starts with 12. So there is no problem, you can just start at 10. So I have my two axes there, drawn and numbered. So next is to mark the cumulative frequency, how we mark it, we will now take the higher boundary and the cumulative frequency, corresponding cumulative frequency. So on the vertical axis, I'll look for 12. And on the horizontal axis, I'll look for 19.5. So it's now going to be somewhere here. So I'm going to make a mark there, look at it. So next is now cumulative frequency 26 and uh, uh, mark 29.5. So this is 29.5. So I'm going to take check 26. This is 20. This is 30. So six small divisions on top of this 20 will be 26. So I'm going to make a mark there. Look at it. 
Next is uh, cumulative frequency 44 and uh, mark 39.5. This is 39.544. This is 40. So 44 will be four small divisions on top of 40. That will be 44. So I'm going to make a mark there too. So this is what I will keep doing. So next will be 64 against this 49.5. If you mark it correctly, you now have this point, 49. If you move, it's now for 64. So you have the rest like this. These are the other points. If you keep doing it the same way. So what remains is to now join those set of points using broomstick or using freehand. But it's good you draw a smooth curve to pass through all the set of points that you have plotted. So the curve is now going to be like this. It's now going to be very smooth. That will enable you to find answers accurately. So next we are to answer in this still question number B. We are asked to estimate the median mark and we are also asked to estimate the lower quartile. So starting with the median, median will now be the mark obtained by middle student, if we arrange them in ascending order, there are 100 students all together. It is 100 students all together. So if you arrange them, the student that will be at the middle position will now be position 50. This is 50. So you now draw a line horizontally to touch your cup. When it touches, you now move down to the x axis. Whatever value you have there, that will be the median mark. So at 50, I will draw a line like this, look at it, then turn it down. So the value here will now be the median score or the median mark. And according to our estimate, this is 39.5, this is 49.5, 10 small divisions in between, and the difference is 10, which means each small division is now going to be 1. So this place is now going to be three small divisions add to 39.5 that will give answer 42.5 so 42.5 will now be the median score next the lower quartile the lower quartile will now be the first quarter first quarter if they are 100 will now be 25 so you now look for 25 which is here the mark there would now be the lower quarter so lower quartile will now be the mark at this 20 50 percent time so you now draw a line at this 25. When it touches your cup, you go down to the x-axis. So whatever you have there, that will now be the lower quartile. So the lower quartile is now going to be 29. Let me just give you the back distribution for question A and B. I'll move to question number C. So the mark distribution would now be as follows. So the very first mark is bonus two marks. The bonus two marks is for getting these cumulative frequencies correctly. If all are correct, 12, 26, 44, you have this bonus two marks. If anyone is wrong here, it's minus half for each wrong one. Next mark is bonus three marks. The bonus three marks is for plotting the values of your cumulative frequency against the higher boundary. If you plot them correctly and join them correctly, you have this bonus three marks. For any wrong one, plotted or joined wrongly is minus half a mark. Next mark is for reading the median from your graph. You have this method one mark. And when you read it accurately and you have 42.5, you have this accuracy one mark. Next mark is method one mark for reading the value of this lower quartile from your graph. So you have this method one mark. And when you now read it correctly, you have 29. Accurately, you have this accuracy one mark. So this question A and B has nine good marks. So let's just move on. Answer question number C. Question number C says, if uh, 32 students were offered admission, find out the cutoff mark from this very graph. So those that have highest score, you now take from the last person from the person that scored the highest mark, you go down and count 32 of them. So from this 100, you now count 32 down. You now draw a line to the curve. Then when you meet your curve, you go down. Whatever you have there as x to now be the cutoff mark, which means you now take the last or the top 32 student. So 32 counted down from this 100 
will now be just two small divisions under 70 from 100 to 70 is now 30 so 32 just two small divisions under the 70 will give you 32 so if you now draw a line from there to get the cut up marker you are going to have something like this so the value here exactly if you estimate it will now be the cut up marker so according to our estimate this is 49 each small division is one so this will now take a value 53 now be the cut up mark so move to question number c question number c says how many students will be offered admission if this pack pass mark in c this 53 is now raised by 10 or increased by 10 so the new pass mark will now be 53 plus the 10 which give answer 63 so if 63 is now the new pass mark how many students will now be offered the admission so what you now do this is a score you now locate it on this horizontal axis where it will now be 63 exactly. To get this 63 on this 59, this is 59.5. So you add 3.5, that will give answer 63. Just three smaller divisions there after 59.5. You now draw a line up there, up. When it touches your cup, you go like this. So that if you subtract this number from 100, it will now give you the number of students that will now be offered admission. So this is just one small division before 80. And if I count down from 100 to this very point, it will now give me 21 exactly. So it will now be 21 students that will now be offered admission. And this answered the two questions C and D. Let me just give you the mark distribution for this also. So the very first mark there is the method one mark, and this method one mark is for reading from your graph uh, the cut-up mark. You have this method one mark, and when you now have it correctly as 53 or 52 or 54 in between, you have this accuracy one mark. The next mark is getting the number of students that will now be offered admission with consideration of the pass mark raised in question number C. So if you have 21 exactly. You have accuracy one mark. There is no problem for those that have 20 or 22. So this question C and D has three good marks.